Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the weekly press briefing of the Kosovo Specialist Chambers, where we aim to provide journalists with an update on the latest development at the court and the opportunity to ask questions. On 17th May, the panel ordered the continued detention of Pieter Schala, finding that there continues to be a risk that Mr. Schala may obstruct the progress of proceedings and commit further crimes. The panel further decided that only the specialist chamber's detention facilities are able to efficiently monitor the accused communication. The panel reminded that all witnesses called by the prosecution have testified and additional evidence that may be incriminating has been introduced. Therefore, the panel determined that there was a risk that Mr. Schala may act on threats previously made, especially considering a general climate of witness intimidation in Kosovo. Given that the trial is progressing without undue delay, the panel found that the time the accused spent in detention is still reasonable. In the Thaci et al. case, the trial panel on 16th May approved the suggested redactions by the Prosecution, Victims' Council, and the Witness Protection and Support Office for a lesser public redacted version of transcripts of four witnesses who testified at the end of last year. The panel also ordered additional parts of the transcripts to be reclassified as public. This process is part of the regular review of transcripts and filings to ensure the publicity of proceedings to the greatest extent possible. Following an order by the trial panel on 21st February, the prosecution on 21st May filed a notice of witness changes to streamline its witness list. According to the filing, the prosecution no longer intends to rely upon the evidence of 10 witnesses and will seek permission to submit the evidence of 13 witness witnesses in writing rather than calling them to testify in person. The prosecution confirmed that they will continue reviewing the witness list on a regular basis and indicated they may be able to inform about additional changes in October this year. On 22nd May, the trial panel admitted into evidence five witness statements and two witness statements in part. Specifically, the, the panel found that certain exhibits associated with the two statements were not appropriate to be admitted into evidence. In the same case, on Tuesday 21st May, the 63rd witness called by the prosecution, Mr. Dietrich Klaus Jensch, testified publicly in court. As per the summary presented by the prosecution, Mr. Klaus Jensch served as a German K-4 officer in the prison area during the relevant period. On the same day, the 64th witness, Johann Rudolf Fritsch, started his testimony also in public session. The witness was a press officer for the German K-4 in prison area during the relevant time. After the 64th witness concluded with his testimony yesterday, the prosecution called a protected witness. According to the summary read out by the prosecution, the witness is the relative of an alleged victim of enforced disappearance and murder in Drenots Drenovats. The next hearing in this case is scheduled to take place tomorrow, Friday, 24th May, starting at 9 in the morning. This was all from me. If there are any questions, I'll be happy to respond.